Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you a, another color change. This is a really simple color change, it's one I like to do a lot. It's kind of visual eye candy for me and I just love performing it all the time when I ever have a deck of cards in my hands. So without further ado, let's get right into the color change. Alright, so for this, let's say I have you select a card. Let's say I have you say stop about right there. I'm going to look away. Hopefully you've got the card. And we're just going to place it into the center of the deck. And actually, we'll give the deck a quick mix-up. Just to make sure your card really is lost. And there's no way that I'd know. Actually, though, I think I got your card right on top. That was it, right? Eight of diamonds? No, eight of diamonds wasn't your card. Look, you just got to give it a quick wave. Then it changes to the Queen of Hearts, and then you just gotta give it another wave. It changes back to the Eight of Diamonds. So that was the color change, guys. Let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so if you couldn't guess already, this is basically just palming a card. And in the performance, I was kind of sloppy with it. All you do is you find some way to get the card in your palm like this where it touches your ring finger and this uh, flesh part of your thumb and these fingers are just here to close any window so that you can't see through um, your fingers because you wouldn't want to palm a card like this because then everyone would know that you're palming a card also what I do is when I come over I go forward because when I go forward, it lifts it up a little bit so that I can actually get that tension on there. Because when it lifts up, you can actually split the card and be able to palm it without like messily palming it and having it maybe even fall out of your hand. Another thing, when you come over and you palm it, you don't want your thumb to be out like this. You want this to look as natural as you can. And in this position, it's kind of hard, too, because um, I haven't really got anywhere to put my hand other than over the mat here. Another thing, when you do this palm, you can do it like that. And if you want to change it back to the card and get rid of the palm clean, you can go back like that. That's what I usually do. And then I just turn the double back over. Another variation of this is where you have like the entire deck face up and you pretend to slide forward nothing goes slide forward again nothing goes slide forward again a third time and then it changes this is just a simple principle the first time you do nothing the second time though your index will actually slide the card out from the top and then the third time you just dump it onto the bottom of the deck with a lot of uh, practice, you'll be able to get it so that it actually goes directly on and you're not stuck with something where there's like a gap and you can see the card at the back or anything like that. That just comes with practice. I mainly use this uh, color change for people who have already done a couple tricks for. Um, this is just something, again, like I said, it's just the eye candy that I like. To perform it with and it's really kind of deceptive and <clears throat> unless uh, people like obviously see you palm the card they really won't think anything of it all I see is you just wave your hand over it and it changes to a different card and then you can actually change it back probably the only part from here that's really hard is just turning the double back over and if you know how to do a double lift and you know how to do it well, that probably should not be a problem. Also, me, I have really big hands. Like this is me compared to a deck of cards. I can easily like palm a card and conceal it. Um, for people who have smaller hands, again, you can palm a card. It just comes with a lot of practice and repetition. So if you can't palm a card yet, don't worry. Um, you will be able to if you practice it hard enough and long enough. 
So that was the palm color change, guys. I hope you liked this. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video and a comment down below. Also, if there is another slight or trick that you'd like to see, comment that down below as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to add new people to the channel every day. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.